every day, every night, our deputies here in Pinell County are fighting the Mexican drug cartels, namely the Sinaloa cartel that, quite frankly, they think they own the place, and many people would agree with them. And what we've had here in Pinell County, larger than the state of Connecticut geographically, and we are sandwiched in between Tucson and metropolitan Phoenix. Phoenix, of course, is the sixth largest city in the United States, and the trafficking that comes up through because of the interstates, Interstate 10, Interstate 8, all the rural routes, and then the terrain features, a natural shaping of all of this traffic in through Pinell County. Of course, this is a pass-through county. They're on their way to metropolitan Phoenix. And from there, as a respite to other destinations around America. This is a national security issue that it falls to the federal government. And this is why I'm so excited to hear from our candidates for governor. Clearly, I believe that among the four candidates that are going to present and answer questions here tonight, we have our next governor. I absolutely believe that. And I'm excited to hear their response of what the role is for the governor, the top elected official of our state, shall be to address these important issues to us. That focus has been brought back here because of a number of the failures of our federal government. In the absence of federal action, what shall Arizona do? This is not an issue that's about race. It's about enforcement of all the laws in our country. This is an issue about law enforcement treating everybody fairly and equally, enforcing the law on our citizens, but also those people who aren't even from our country, who defy and disrespect our law. And as importantly, to protect our country from possible terrorist threat. Clearly, we want to hear that we're going to put America first in our interests and in our security. This is a very important issue here to the state of Arizona. We're at a time in our republic that a lot of us are dis disenchanted with the federal government and their failures, that we believe that there's an overreach of their authority, and yet their core responsibility to protect America, they've neglected. And in that absence, it's women and men like me and others that are here in this room and other partners that we have are proud to answer the call, our swear, our oath to the Constitution to preserve, protect, and defend this country. And it is our honor to do that. Thank you very much for coming this evening. Thank you.